Now, on Tuesday, the National Drug Authority conducted an operation at the Miracle Center Cathedral in Luvaga, Kampala, where they impounded a consignment of animal drugs named Tick Off. According to NDA, these drugs contain dangerous substances which are not only used to kill birds and bedbugs, but are also harmful to human and animal life. Abiyaz Ramwiri, the NDA spokesperson, is in NTV studios to share more about this operation. Good afternoon to you, Abiyaz. Uh, Good afternoon and uh, good afternoon the viewers of uh, NTV. Okay, talk to us about these drugs. How big was the consignment in terms of size and value and was it licensed to be in Uganda? One, uh, the fact is that uh, during Christmas uh, period, to be specific on 30th, Pastor Kayanja is on record uh, calling uh, his uh, uh, followers how he together with uh, uh, colleagues had developed a particular product called tick of that kills instant ticks and he was encouraging people to go and collect free samples to go and try uh, he, he that called on attention as national drug authority because we had not authorized the use of that product neither were we involved at any stage of its production so we on third to be specific third of january we went and met Kayanja, uh, Pastor Kayanja, and he confessed to us that he owns that product together with uh, two other people and that they were working with scientists from Makere University School of Veterinary Medicine. And we immediately contacted uh, the team that he had given us from Makere. They disowned the product. That raised antennas where we sit. We picked samples with police, took them to our laboratory uh, and the government lab. Uh, we got results. Uh, when we shared, when we raised the flag to Pastor uh, Kayanja, he cut off con uh, communication with us. So yesterday we were left with no choice but to come out and warn the public. We had gone to his church to meet and present the results. He brought our team, as you could have seen the clips, uh, to gain access to him. And we had no choice but to address the public because these... Uh, this is a falsification uh, with dangerous chemicals. They've been using animal feeds, mixing it uh, with mukeni to disguise the smell that comes with these fumigants. If you've been in a place that has been fumigated, you can't run away. So, but also, to, uh, he, they thought we would not be able to get uh, the ingredients. When we met him three times, he declined to give us uh, to declare the contents claiming patent rights. I understand he's addressing the media now, uh, saying we is going to sue us. As National Drug Authority, we are a science-based organization. We have evidence. We are happy uh, that if, his, if he feels aggrieved, and our intention was to present the results, if he feels aggrieved, those results are available. We are ready to, to have uh, that unfortunate but uh, engagement with him, uh, it has gone beyond the space I'm sure he expected. Uh, we have been putting it very clear to Ugandans that as National Drug Authority, our first priority is to protect the lives of Ugandans. Okay. And these products, the contamination, some of the products are cancer causing. So just for clarification's sake, you never received an application for the production of this drug, neither the testing of this drug. We have never received any official uh, application from uh, Kayanja, one of his uh, accomplices uh, or partners. We took it upon ourselves, got, we have a such certificate signed by his uh, personal assistant. Okay. And the evidence of picking and engaging him for over 30 days. And We've been are, gracious what, enough. What are the harmful substances that you found in these drugs? We found three uh, banned uh, chemicals. One. Uh, has been uh, banned from use uh, in food producing animals because of its direct contamination of, of meat and uh, uh, milk and other animal products. The other one is the, the one, uh, the, the fungicide, which causes cancer. Mm -hmm. It has cancer causing potentials. Uh, these are banned uh, chemicals. As a National Drug Authority, when we test this, uh, in our WHO pre laboratory, by the time we come out, 
one to give uh, Pastor Kayanja and his teams because okay. we've been getting the backlash. We uh, we cannot be used by anyone to fight anyone. That is not our intention. We have allowed more than 200 herbal based products made here in Uganda. And that's why our engagement, that's why when we got, we did not uh, write and, and publish uh, this. We've been engaging him, we wanted to give him a benefit of doubt, but when we find contamination that mm -hmm. risks the lives of Ugandans, we are duty bound to come and warn the public, okay. but also we've opened, uh, we've preferred charges against him. Uh, while he rushes uh, to take us to court, we will meet there. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Abias uh, Ramwiri, uh, for that information. And of course, the mandate of the National Drug Authority is to protect the lives of 